Hey, it's Chris from Rowe Dental Laboratory, and today's topic is going to be open tray versus closed tray impressions. What's the difference? Um, this is going to be separate from, of course, the digital workflow using a scan body. We'll save that for another day. Uh, let's start off with the closed tray impression. So the way this is done, doctor has your, your standard full arch uh, impression tray, and patient comes in, remove the healing cap and you're going to seat this closed tray impression post. Closed tray because there is no hole in the impression tray itself for the post to stick out of. Please make sure with our closed tray impressions there is no hole because a lot, because a lot of the closed tray impression posts, they are designed to have a vertical stop uh, with the impression tray itself. If there's a hole, it's gonna mess up the entire impression. So once you, uh, you remove the healing abutment, seat the closed tray impression post. And if you're not sure if it's seated, please take an x-ray. We always recommend take an x-ray no matter what to verify that it's seated. If it is not seated all the way, we're gonna still fabricate your crown. We can't tell and it's going to be, uh, the crown's gonna be short. So please make sure it's seated all the way and then go ahead and take your impression material heavy body or light body. Um, there's no reason to take a wash impression with an implant. Prior to seating the material and taking the impression itself, you wanna make sure you block out the screw access hole on the closed tray impression post. So just take some wax or maybe some Teflon tape and just put it in the, uh, put it in the, in the screw access hole. That way you won't get PBS in the, uh, in the access there. Impression material sets, slowly remove the impression uh, tray and then you're gonna unscrew that impression post and just send it to the lab. You know, we'll, we'll deal with sticking it into the, uh, the impression itself. Uh, there's, there's a certain way that post is gonna stick into that impression. Let us figure that out. Uh, will probably be the most accurate way for us, uh, for us to do it. So that's your closed tray technique. Let's move along to the open tray technique. Very similar, except you're going to create a screw access hole into the impression, it's impression tray. So that way, when you're seating the impression, uh, the, post, the screw access will stick out of the impression. This is the more accurate of the two because once that impression sets, you're gonna unscrew that impression post and it's all gonna come out together in the, in, the, in the impression tray itself. So unscrew it and remove it, send that to the lab. Uh, please make sure you don't rip that out of there because then it creates a whole nother problem that we're gonna make something terrible for you. So unscrew it, send it to the lab. One little reminder on the closed tray, sometimes we'll get impressions with no impression post. That's gonna hold your case up. So please make sure on the closed tray, you remember to send that post to us. And again, with the open tray impression post, please make sure it's seated all the way. If there's any question, take an x-ray just to verify, uh, and then you'll be good to go. And we'll make you a fabulous crown. Uh, for any additional questions, uh, on any of our products, please visit us at our website. Questions or comments, leave those below and we'll get right back to you. And also please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.